Mother Teresa of Kolkata. Mother Teresa was born on August 26, 1910 in Skopje, Macedonia. She was the youngest of three children. Her father was a local businessman who passed away when Agnes was eight years old. Her mother, a very religious person, opened an embroidery and cloth business to support her family. Agnes spent most of her adolescence very involved in parish activities. In 1928, at 18 years of age, Agnes left her home to become a missionary and joined the Institute of the Blessed Virgin Mary, also known as the Sisters of Loreto in Ireland. It was there that she received the name of Sister Mary Teresa after St. Therese of Lisieux. December of 1928, Sister Teresa departed from Calcutta, India, arriving on January 6th of 1929. Sister Teresa made her first profession vows in May of 1931. She was then assigned to teach at St. Mary's School for Girls. Sister Teresa made her final profession vows in May 24th of 1937. Becoming the spouse of Jesus for all eternity. From that moment, she was called Mother Teresa. During a train ride from Kolkata to Darjeeling on an annual retreat on September 10th of 1946, Mother Teresa received an inspiration. She felt Jesus' thirst for love. She felt the need to satiate his thirst more powerful than ever, the force of her life. Jesus revealed to her his fame at the neglect of the fort and asked Mother Teresa to establish a religious community called the Missionaries of Charity Sisters. They are dedicated to help the poorest of the poor people in the world. After two years, three Mother Teresa received permission to begin her work. Mother Teresa first went to the slums on December 21st. She visited people, the source of some children she tended, and fed a woman dying of hunger. After a couple months, she was joined by some of her former students. The Congregation of the Missionaries was established officially in the Archdiocese of Kolkata on October 7th of 1950. Mother Teresa started spreading her missionaries to other places of India. She then started extending to other parts of the world, the first place being Venezuela. Soon a new foundation was opened in Rome and Tanzania, and soon enough in every continent. Mother Teresa opened houses in even communist countries including the Soviet Union, Albania, and Cuba. In 1963, Mother Teresa founded the Missionaries of Charity Brothers, the contemplative branch of the sisters in 1976. The contemplative brothers in 1979 and the Missionaries of Charity Fathers in 1984, and many more in order to respond better to the needs of the poor. People around the world started noticing the acts of charity Mother Teresa would do, and in 1979, she was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. Something that no one knew about was the, pain feeling, the painful feeling of being separated from God that Mother Teresa felt. She felt even rejected by Him, and felt a longing for His love. She started feeling this feeling from the time she started helping the poor to the end of her life. Mother Teresa continued to work her society and tend to the poor even though she had severe health problems. Mother Teresa had 4,000 sisters and they were established in 610 foundations worldwide by 1997. To an end came Mother Teresa's life on September 5th, 1997. Her body was buried in the mother house of all the missionaries of charity. Pope John Paul II allowed the opening of the case of her canonization. And on October 19, 2003, he beatified Mother Teresa.